Hey guys, Mark here with you again. Got another grammar lesson for you. So, please, don't be fooled by adjectives that end in ed. Okay? They are not past tense verbs. Have a look. They are not past tense verbs. We can change the tense as follows. We change the tense here. Okay? I'm bored. I was bored. I will be bored. I'm going to be bored. All right? Not I'm boring. Okay? Not I'm boring. I don't think I'm boring. Maybe you can say this is boring. The class is boring. The teacher is boring. But I'm bored. I'm bored out of my mind, which means I'm really, really bored. Okay? So, here, I am bored, I was bored. Next one, exhausted, very, very tired. Or you could say stuffed or wrecked. I'm wrecked, I'm stuffed. I was stuffed last night. I was wrecked last night. I was exhausted. To say very, very, you can put in so. I am so bored, I'm so exhausted. And you can use so for all of these here. So it's a really useful word to make things stronger, to emphasize things, okay? So, look here. Interested. I am interested. I'm interested in gardening. I'm interested in music. He's interested. So is, he is. He's interested. She's interested. Disgusted. Oh my God, I was absolutely disgusted by the state of the toilets. They were disgusting. I am disgusted. I was disgusted. Disgusting something terrible, horrible, yuck. Okay? So, worried, concerned, which is like worried. I am concerned. I was concerned. Amazed. I'm amazed by how good she is at playing soccer. She is an amazing player. I'm amazed, or I was amazed. Educated. He is, or she is, an educated person. Okay? So they are adjectives, not past tense verbs. So let's have a look here using ing. As I said before, you could say, this is boring. The class is boring. Okay? Tiring. Normally say, he's tired. Yeah? But... At the end of a long race, for example, you could say, he is tiring. He's starting to tire. But you could say, he is tiring. The lessons were interesting. So look here, using is, are, was, or were, the most common ways to change the tense using the ing form. The lessons were interesting. Okay? The food was disgusting. It was disgusting. The food was absolutely disgusting. So, another way to make words stronger, to emphasize word, is by using this word absolutely. Okay? But you can't use it all the time with everything. I've put a red dot with the ones, with the words, that you can use it with. So, bored. I'm absolutely bored out of my mind. I'm absolutely exhausted. Yeah? She was absolutely disgusted. Amazed. I was absolutely amazed. Disgusting. The food was absolutely disgusting. Amazing. The fireworks were absolutely amazing. Okay, back to this part here. It is worrying, okay? It's worrying. I'm worried, but it's worrying. So, for example, the amount of study that the students are doing. It's worrying. It's not enough, okay? Or it is concerning. It's concerning the amount of traffic on the road. It's concerning. It's too much. Okay. Her skills are absolutely, oh, her skills are amazing. 
You could say absolutely amazing. Maybe she's a football player. Her skills are absolutely amazing. Or they are educating themselves. They are educating themselves. Okay, so please keep in mind that when you see words with ed, it doesn't mean that they're past tense verbs. They can be adjectives. Okay, take care. Thanks a lot. See you next time.